So over the past few hours, I've been doing some more work on my Desmos Fractals, and as you can probably tell, I have done a lot to improve it. I've changed the color scheme so that it actually looks like there's a bunch of cubes, and I've also added ambient occlusion. As you can see, all these parts that are more obscured, occluded, are a lot darker, and that helps bring out the edges and helps bring out the 3D-ness of it all. And so, it's still able to be controlled, albeit still at very slow, in fact, if not slower speeds. And while it's loading, I also want to say that I've also uploaded this to Desmos as an actual thing. So I have a link to that in the description, so if you want to check this out for yourself, you can. If only it would load now. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video now. Oh, and by the way, the ambient occlusion, I actually only figured this out recently. The only way I was able to get this to work is by having a ton of different, like, graph layers, and there, you see it moved now. But yeah, I have all these different graph layers, and the only reason why I was able to have this really, like, smooth-looking gradient is just because Desmos graphs, like, inequalities or whatever, can have different opacities. They can be very, they have a very low opacity, and that's what I had here for most of these layers. So yeah, I guess that's about it.